Hello, welcome to my another session. In this session, I am talking about the gametogenesis. There are so many terms which are involved in gametogenesis process. The gametogenesis process which is present in sexual reproducing organisms. As you all know that sexual reproduction also known as gametic reproduction. Why it is known as gametic reproduction? Because in sexual reproduction, there is the involvement of gametic cells or sex cells. So, gametes are sex cells. So, these sex cells are involved in sexual reproduction. That's why it is known as the gametic reproduction. So, in gametic reproduction, there is the process which is known as the gametogenesis. So, gametogenesis, this is the process and there is two words. One is the gameto, another is the genesis. So, gameto means gametes. Gameto means gametes and genesis means formation or production. Gametes again, these are two types. The male individual, it is male gametes, and female individual, it has female gametes. So, gametes again, two types the male gametes, another is female gametes. The male gametes, which, which also known as male sex cell or spermatogen or sperm spermatozoa is plural spermatogen is singular the female gametes it also known as egg or ovum Ova is plural, ovum is singular. Here, these gametes, they have the haploid set of chromosome. The male gametes, it produced from male individual and the female gametes, which produced from female individual. At the time of puberty, the male individual start to produce sperm or the male gametes and the female individual start to produce ovum or egg. By the process of copulation or intercourse, the male and female gametes fuse to each other. And this process is known as fertilization. By fertilization, zygote is formed. So, the product of fertilization, which is zygote. By the mitotic division of zygote, which produced multicellular embryo and which grow into a young individual. So, this is the process of whole embryology. The male individual which produced from the male, the male gametes produced from the male individual. So, this is the male individual and the female gametes produced from female individual. So, this is the female individual. The process by which male gametes are produced, this is known as the spermatogenesis. Why? Because the male individual produced sperm. That's why it is known as spermato, spermatogenesis. Likewise, the female individual produced egg or ovum. 
That's why the process by which egg or ovum are produced, the process is known as oogenesis. Oogenesis. The fusion of male and female individual, this is known as the fertilization. So the male individual, the male individual which contains 2n number of chromosome and the female individual which also contains 2n number of chromosome. The 2n means the diploid number of chromosome, diploid or diploid. As you say, this is diploid or diploid. So, in case of human, there is 46 number of chromosome, 23 pairs of chromosome are present. So, 23 pairs, which is known as 2 n number of chromosome. But the gametes, these are haploid. These are haploid, which contains haploid set of chromosome. So, out of 2 pairs of chromosome, 1 pair or haploid set of chromosome present in gametes. So, male gametes contain 23, this is the n number of chromosome and the egg also contains 23 number of chromosome. During fertilization, at the time of zygote formation, again there is the restoration of 2n number of chromosome. So, the fertilization which restore the 2n number of chromosome that is in case of human that is 46 number of chromosome. By the repeated mitotic division of zygote, zygote this is the single cell, this is the single cell, this is the single cell. Do you think this is embryo or not, zygote is embryo or not? Yes. Zygote is single celled embryo. This is single celled embryo. So, by the repeated mitotic division of zygote, which produce multicellular embryo or fetus, which developed into young one. So, the repeated mitotic division of zygote which is known as cleavage, which is known as cleavage. So, there are two terms. One is the spermatogenesis, another is the oogenesis. So, the gametogenesis, this is the production of gametes is known as gametogenesis. The production of sperm, which is known as the spermatogenesis and the production of egg which is known as oogenesis. So, the production of both sperm and ovum collectively known as gametogenesis. The spermatogenesis process which takes place in testes of the male, testes of male. But the oogenesis process which takes place inside the ovary of, ovary of female and the copulation or the sexual intercourse which help for the fusion of male and female gametes as a result zygote is formed which is deployed which has deployed number of chromosome. So, the fertilization process which restore the deployed number of chromosome generation wise. So, zygote this is the single celled embryo by the repeated mitotic division which produced multicellular embryo. So, here there is the mitotic division of zygote. The repeated mit mitotic division of zygote or fertilized egg is known as cleavage. So, this is another process, this is the cleavage. What is the significance of gametogenesis? Can you tell me what is the significance of gametogenesis? The first point, the first point, what is the significance of gametogenesis? First point, the production of, production of gametes, 
production of gametes this is the first significance of gametogenesis again by the process of gametogenesis from diploid cell haploid sperms are produced so such haploid cell by the fusion of male and female gametes which produced again diploid zygote so the process of gametogenesis means spermatogenesis or oogenesis which maintains the diploid set of chromosome in the species so the gametogenesis which maintains maintains the diploid number of chromosome in species and third one is haploid gametes are produced so the gametogenesis it has three important significance one is the production of gametes or the haploid gametes are produced this is the second point and which maintains the diploid number of chromosome in species so this is the fundamental idea about gametogenesis thank you for watching if you want then click on my another video regarding the spermatogenesis process